Our big story tonight, a man pulled unresponsive from a pool at Discovery Cove. That is the second emergency like this in a month. Thanks for joining us tonight at 8. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. Sky Fox flying over the park, which is owned by SeaWorld. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie has more from Discovery Cove tonight. We got here about an hour ago, just as Discovery Cove was closing for the day. I've spoken to several people exiting the premises, most of whom tell me they didn't know anything had happened here today. But one mother and son did tell me they watched as that man was pulled from the water and saw employees rush over to try and help. Now, Discovery Cove did close at 5 p.m. as planned, but as we saw via Sky Fox, the area was pretty empty in certain spots after this incident. According to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to the area just after 10 this morning after a man in his 50s was found unresponsive in a pool. He was taken to an area hospital. We're told he is in critical condition. We did just hear from a spokesperson from Discovery Cove. They gave us a statement. It reads, quote, our staff responded to a medical emergency involving a guest this morning. Our team provided care and contacted Orange County Fire and Rescue. When emergency personnel arrived, they took over care and transported the guests to a nearby hospital. Our thoughts are with this family, and out of respect for the privacy, we won't be commenting further. Now, no other details have been released at this time, but we do know this all comes close to six weeks after another tragic incident here at Discovery Cove. On May 28th, a 13-year-old girl visiting from the UK was also found unresponsive in a pool here, and she was pronounced dead just two days later. Of course, this is a development story and we will keep you updated here on Fox 35 reporting in Orange County. I'm Hannah McKenzie.